Hey everyone, welcome to another review, and here is a TV review of Daredevil Season 2. Yes, Season 2 has finally came on. Yes, I waited till 3 in the morning, 3.01 in the morning last night, just so I can catch the first episode of Season 2 of Daredevil. I watched the first episode, went to bed, set my alarm for 11.30, woke up, had breakfast, and marathon the whole second season today. And I pretty much just finished it just now, and what did I think about it? Oh my god, this show is awesome. I love this show. I love the first season of Daredevil. I thought it was a really well done show. Great, great direction, fantastic acting, and, ph and phenomenal action sequences. And it was one of my favorite shows of last year. It was so good. Season 2 was really highly anticipated for me because I knew they were bringing in Elektra and the Punisher. Because the story of this season is a few, month a few months later in Hell's Kitchen. Matt Murdock is still Daredevil, saving people in Hell's Kitchen. And now there's a new vigilante in town. And this vigilante actually kills people. He he doesn't lock them away in prison like Daredevil. He murders them cold blood. And he calls himself the Punisher. And it's Frank Castle, played by actor John Berthel, who was awesome in this show. Also in this season, his ex-girlfriend, Daredevil's ex-girlfriend, comes, Electra, and she brings some shit with her. There's people after Electra, and they call themselves the Hand. And if you know comic books, you know what the Hand is. And Oh my god, just my heart was racing. I'm like, oh my god, I know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. And also in the season, older characters from the first season return for a couple episodes. I won't say who those characters are, but honestly, you're going to have a big smile on your face when you see them. And oh, it was just awesome. A lot of actors all return. Kelly Cox is back as Matt Murdock slash Daredevil, and he's awesome. Like, when I first heard Charlie Cox was going to be Daredevil slash Matt Murdock, I thought that was a stupid choice. I'm like, that kid from Stardust is going to be Matt Murdock, but he really surprised me. He was great in the first season, and he's awesome in this season. He's much darker, is much grittier. The whole tone of the show is much darker and grittier this season, which I loved. It was really gory, but when you have the Punisher, you're going to get a much gory show, and it was awesome, and I loved the Daredevil feel in this season, and I really liked that. The feel, the tone, and the atmosphere of this season was really good, and I loved Daredevil this season. The costume looked great, and Charlie Cox's performance was even better this season. He was awesome, and I loved his chemistry with Elektra. Uh, Elektra was in this season, and I don't know anything about this actress, but she was good. She did the, the role well. Uh, she wasn't amazing, like, she wasn't my favorite character in her performance. It wasn't like an Emmy-worthy performance, but she was fine, and her chemistry with Charlie Cox was good. She was enjoyable. Now, John Berthel as Frank Castle slash The Punisher was a phenomenal choice. Like, he was great. He probably was my favorite character this season. Any scene with The Punisher was amazing. He was freaking awesome. He was brutal, and it was great. It was it was great to see a Punisher done right. Like, we've had two Punisher movies. Well, three if you include the old school one, but, yeah, three Punisher movies, and the Punisher's never been done right. I've never seen a serviceable Punisher, and we finally got one in this Netflix original series because John Berthel is now Punisher to me. He was fantastic. Frank Castle is finally brought to me on the screen, the TV screen, not the movie screen, but still. John Berthel was amazing. He probably gave the best performance this entire season. He was amazing. I, again, I love Charlie Cox. He was great as Matt Murdock, but John Berthel stole this entire season. He was so good. Uh, Alvin Hansen was back as Foggy. He was great. Uh, Deborah Ann is back too, and she's great. And a lot of other characters from the previous seasons, like I said, return. Some actually really big characters. I don't want to spoil those characters, but again, when they show up, again, big smile on your face. The, ac the action sequences in this season is much better. Like I said, it's more gritty this season. It's more darker, more violent, and more gruesome. Like I said, when you have the Punisher, you're going to have a lot of explosions explosions and people's limbs getting blown off and shit. And yeah, there's a particular episode this season I freaking love. That is episode three. Th the third episode of this season was probably the best episode of the entire series so far. It was my favorite episode. It has Daredevil getting chained up, and it's basically the Punisher and Daredevil talking with each other, talking about their beliefs of the justice system. Daredevil thinks killing is wrong, and the Punisher thinks killing is right, and the, the way they discuss both of their beliefs is very fascinating, and it's very well done, very well written, and the performances by both these actors is freaking top-notch. 
and there's an action sequence at the end of that episode, and it's probably the best fight sequence I've seen this entire series. Like, it's amazing. Again, it's just like the second episode of the first season. It's all done in one shot, and it's just Daredevil fighting all these guys in this building, all the way down these stairs, and it's amazing. It, like, phenomenal shots, and just phenomenal direction, and amazing choreography. Amazing action. The action this season was absolutely top-notch. It got much better this season. The drama was really good. and There was some stuff that I didn't particularly like, but luckily the good stuff overpowered that. And I loved this season. This was a hell of a good season. I can't spoil things that happened because the season just came out, and I know a lot of people are still watching it, so I can't spoil it, but all I can say is this season was amazing, and I loved it. This show is just awesome. I'm actually really upset right now because I just marathoned it, and I just realized I have to wait another year for season three, so I'm really upset, but I'm probably going to marathon this show again. Like, I'm going to start from the beginning and marathon it again and have fun, and then get upset again, but still. I loved the season. Season 2 was great. Was it better than Season 1? Ah, uh, not quite. I thought Season 1 had better story elements, but this season was still good. Like I said, it was much darker, much grittier. And Frank Castle, the Punisher, was fucking awesome. It was really good. And the ending, the climax of the show, was really good. You're like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? But I think the first four episodes of this season was amazing. The first four episodes of Season 2 are probably the best episodes of the entire series. And I don't want to say it gets worse, but the quality gets lowered a little bit. Because the first four episodes are just so amazing. The rest of the episodes are still really good, but the first four episodes are just so amazing. The quality just lowers a little bit. because Mostly because the first four episodes are basically about the Punisher, so that's why they're so awesome. The Punisher is the star of this show. He's not the star, but he's just the best in this entire season. I love the Punisher. And there's a scene, a scene in this season that I fucking loved. That prison sequence. It's when Frank castle fights all these inmates in a prison and oh my god it's probably the most gruesome thing you will watch in daredevil it's fucked up and it's just amazing i was like yes go frank castle i love you yeah it's awesome it was probably one of my favorite scenes in this entire series so far it was so fucking good but yeah again i love the season it was very well directed this season the action was amazing the cinematography was great all these performances by all these actors were really good oh yeah rosario dawson's back for a few episodes if you like claire She's back, it's awesome. There's also a few nods to Jessica Jones, which you all like. You're like, ah oh, ha I get it. So yeah, there's a lot of great things you'll love. If you're a fan of Jessica Jones and you're a fan of the first season of Daredevil, you will have a blast with this. I did. I fucking loved this season. I can't wait to watch season two all over again, because this, this was just awesome, and I had a lot of fun with it. It was so good. I can't wait for season three. So yeah, so yeah, check Daredevil season two out. It's awesome. So yeah, scale one to ten, I'll give Daredevil season two a nine out of 10. Yes, I'm going super high with it because, like I said, I was gripped for, from the beginning till it ended. From episode 1 to episode 13, I was gripped. I was glued to my television. Nothing else mattered. I was just watching this. The whole day, I was just gripped by this entire season. So yeah, 9 out of 9 out of 10. There's some things that I had problems with, but it didn't matter. I was watching Daredevil. It was season 2, and it was amazing. Check it out. So yeah, that was my review of Daredevil Season 2. Say in the comment section below, please tell me, did you watch Daredevil Season 2? If you did, what'd you think of it? And what was your favorite episode of Daredevil Season 2? My favorite episode was the third episode, but what was your favorite episode? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.